These kids are exploring a new, new planet, a new world. Uh, and hopefully they'll, without even seeing the movie, they'll go back. So, so, right now you have two of the uh, projects that are basically rebooting the franchise. Now you just said you didn't watch the first, it has a full one now for um, Hitman, which is the same thing, have no, didn't see it, have, what is, what is it like to come in and just, are you just going in fresh and not worrying about whatever happened before and just dive into it and make it your own, or, you know, sometimes people will kind of listen to what was before, kind of just, try to see you know, who's familiar, or, before, I didn't know that Hitman was a video game either. Uh, so, uh, two days before I was exploring with Yorkshire, the, um, the picture editor said, by the way, you know, you should, you know, one thing that we like is this, uh, he showed me a trailer or maybe something from the video game. And so I got a sense of the music that goes with the video game. Like, oh, okay, it's, it's, it's a little different from what I did, but, um, uh, what I react to is the, the, the visuals that I'm given and the story that I'm given. And um, it's, you know, I'm not basing it on, on like, a pre I'm not trying to have a preconceived notion about what it sh should be because if I have that and the movie is something else, they might not be exactly together. I think the most important thing is that the music supports the tone of the film itself. But sometimes the film isn't always like, the previous film or like the video game or whatever. What can you say about your collaboration with the French director Luc Besson? Well, I never, I never collaborated with him. He produced uh, uh, some, some things, but um, I love working for the French. They're very creative. I, I, I did a uh, movie for Vetran de Gavigny, okay. uh, which was um, a very uh, creative experience okay. um, and um, for Pierre Morel uh, yes. and, and I recorded at, at uh, Luc Besson's place in Normandy, yes. I'm not sure if he has anymore, but um, you know, I, personally I don't know him. Okay, thank you. Hi, Jamie from the Marvel Database. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that you didn't uh, watch the films because you didn't like that specific genre. So let me ask, what are no, not you... The not the genre, those, you weren't interested in those particular movies. Um, so what are you a fan of, and how does the, what you do like uh, influence you? Well, yeah, I mean, I do like superhero movies. I, 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 I do see a lot of them with my kids and all. I, I think it was... Um, a product of not hearing great reviews. Okay. I think that's probably why I didn't go. Um, what do you enjoy? What, what would you go run out to see? The thing that got me into it, uh, I, 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 I love westerns, but you know, there's not that many made. Uh, so I think everything I score, I score is a western uh, to, make, to make up for it. Um, uh, I love Tarantino's movie, um, and um, he likes a lot of licensed properties. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I know. I gotta change his mind. <laughs> he's gotta, he's gotta, he's gotta, I, I mean, luckily we have a similar sensibility to music, but I think his movies would be stronger if he actually had a composer to um, make something thematic that that is not just scene by scene, but covers the movie as a whole and has a, uh, a star story arc. Ties the room together. So. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to corner him sometime. And Couldn't take a better spot than <laughs> Comic Con. I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, uh, yeah, I'm not a huge horror movie fan either. Um, uh, you know. It, I, I don't know if it's genre specific, it's more film specific, just like with music itself, there's not particular genres that I like or dislike, but it's individual pieces, and uh, even among the composer that I like most of his work, even among Morricone, who I love most of his stuff, he's also done a bunch of crap, too. So, um, 
Uh, it's not universal. Uh, I think Shaquille mentioned you have a concert. Um, so how do you kind of go from that to the movies you do are like, um, Wolverine, Snowpiercer, like, is there like a natural progression? I don't anymore. I mean, in the past 10 years, I've only been doing films. Uh, I want to get back to to it, and I have ideas. In fact, uh, you know, I had plans to do an opera with Tommy Lee Jones, who's been a great libretto, and um, it's, he's been busy, and I've been busy, and uh, we started we started working on some fundamental ideas for it, but it never got beyond. It. I mean, it's such a big, expansive project to do, you know, undertaking. Okay. It's, it's hasn't, it hasn't progressed. And that's one of the things that I don't know. I mean, right now, it's, it's hard to find the time. It's just so busy with doing films. And films are inspiring, and I enjoy doing it. Uh, maybe, maybe there'll be a time when I'll get back to it. I, I feel like both. I feel like uh, some of the scoring stuff too would, is inspiring uh, ideas that can be exploited in a concert venue. You know, I think like there there isn't a concert venue for people today. Uh, there's there's uh, audiences for classical music that are way down. You know, people go to film concerts, and, uh, but even pop music is a horrible scene. I think so. I think there's definitely room for. Um, for, uh, for developing this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.